on this. You guys now know the stuff you can bring in. You can start bringing it in uh, tomorrow from there. Uh, make sure Whitney and Caitlin both know I need the skewers by Thursday. I said, okay. Hopefully Whitney will be here, but I told her. Why is she coming? Uh, you don't pay attention a lot. Whitney wants play. to know where she gets these. <laughs> uh, you can get them at various places. I mean, you can get them at Walmart, at Dollar Store. You could you probably get them at Dollar Store. I don't know. Um, All right. Walmart. So, so far you guys are been rolling with these synthesis reactions and we got uh, one more and then we are done with synthesis reactions. Thank Woo! God. I know there are. And let's just make this one very special. Here you have metal oxides. <laughs> this is the part where I wish my classroom was like, you know, I don't know, a uh, football game where we're doing instant replay. Would you play? You, you are like, you know, you're literally you're recording. With football. I like football. Yes, this is still with synthesis reaction. It's a synthesis reaction still on the board. As you're wearing Metal oxides. What is it? As you're wearing a basketball. <laughs> okay, are we in football or basketball season? Both, actually. So metal oxides with non-metal oxides. No, it's not. The XFL is currently in the regular season. That is metal oxide with non-metal oxides. <laughs> I didn't even know it was. It's a thing. All right, so then this, you got metal oxides and non-metal oxides. Whenever we react, metal oxides with non-metal oxides. It will produce what we call salt. Now, huh? It goes back when I were told you sodium chloride is not the only thing known as a salt. Gotcha. So, like in this perfect example, is if we take calcium oxide. And we combine it. Let's do uh, sulfur dioxide. Here's the thing, and here's the trend for it. Okay? Mr. Hall does a synthesis reaction that involves calcium oxide and sulfur dioxide. Give me a properly written chemical equation for the reaction. In this, calcium oxide, sulfur dioxide. This is a metal oxide and a non-metal oxide. It will produce a salt. What will happen in this is we'll keep the metal. You'll take the non-metal oxide and add an extra oxygen. Okay, so. <laughs> That's the booster. Yeah. I think I can actually measure a redneck sulfur bill and pizza bill. Like, there's a lot of that. Makes it. That's very racist. <laughs> and we're already balanced. Okay. Yay. 
<laughs> we are done with the synthesis. We Wait, could you repeat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who is that? That's awesome. Awesome. Please don't edit that out. Yeah. What's up? Bring his gears. Bring his gears. <laughs> I told you to come back. I did. What? I did. Tell me what. She was missing from her picture. Oh, she told me you were skipping. Um, um, you bring your leaf for Thursday. Okay. Now, you are officially got the notes for the synthesis reaction. <laughs> All right, we're going to start on decomposition reactions now. <laughs> These will go on for a minute. This is the one reaction that I keep getting asked a thousand and one times about. <laughs> Now, since we're taking so much lovely time in class to really break down and go through these, it's okay. what do you have coming up next Friday? A quiz. And that bad boy is going to be tough. You best prepare yourself. You best be studying. All right, so we have AX. This lovely couple, it's like, oh, I love you, no, I love you. Didn't we already go over this? No, I love you. Yes. No, I love you, no, I love you. And then all of a sudden it's like, she's the devil. <laughs> He's Satan. Every We're day. done. Worst decision of my life. Didn't y'all take like two weeks? Hometown girls. <laughs> Alright, so in this decomposition reaction, this is when one thing breaks down into two things. So, what you can have is you can have normal breakdown of binary compounds. So, we'll start off with the first one. <laughs> Decomposition of binary. <laughs> a binary compound. So in this, you have something like mercury two oxide. And some heat. So what does that mean? Heat. Over it. Yeah. So within this, what do you have? Okay. You have mercury two oxide. In this case, mercury is two plus. Oxygen is two negative. It's a one to one ratio. So HGO with some heat. Now, in this, they break apart. Decomposition, one thing becomes two things. All you have is a binary compound, so they literally just break apart. So you're going to have what? Mercury plus oxygen. This one may be a trick to you because it involves a diatomic in the product. So now we're going to have to worry about balancing. It's a question if I take mercury and oxygen and I freeze it, do I get mercury oxide? Mercury 2 oxide? No. Oh no, I was marking up my words. So Alright, so now i got two mercuries over on the uh, reactant side and I now have two oxygens on the product side. So now i got to go back. On the reactant side, if you can, please come get the email yourself today. We have some uh, private information in there regarding grades and things like that, so it may not be good for students to do that. Also, you need to make sure that you come and sign in every day. 
uh, some of you are not signing in and it makes the payroll process very difficult and so please don't risk getting out know, absent when you're actually here to so make sure that you come and sign at some point during the morning. Oh, I swear. Let's two of them right there and give me two marks. I'm not chowing down. Shut up, Lewis. How about that? <laughs> so within this, these two will break down, so it'll literally break down to two mercury and oxygen. This right here is the thing that I'm looking for. Can you produce that? Mercury to oxygen. Can we have some more after we're done with them. Listen, if there's cases that show up and we're dying, what is that? All right. Then we're going to the second case. We're taking the analog and then every week and it's not work. Can we watch it? No. Where is she at? She's in the northwest corner of. Number two. So we we should be good. Number two is decomposition of metal carbonates. Oh, the map. This year will literally be the end of the world. Like, we'll, we'll survive. Survive, maybe. Or survive? Listen, I, I got tongue tied. I'm so happy we're going to survive. I got tongue tied. All right, it is decomposition of metal carbonates. <laughs> Have you heard about your boy Yellowstone Super Volcano? That's a super volcano. <laughs> Decomposition. Yeah. Decomposition of metal carbonates. This is what will happen. They will produce metal oxides. And carbon dioxide. <coughs> so within this, if we took calcium carbonate, which everybody in this room automatically, you guys are so good at your nomenclature that you just know that CaCO3. Yes. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I just love uh, polyatomics. Study. Polyatomics are the best thing ever. Calcium. So we hit the, uh, heat this bad boy up. When we heat it up, <laughs> it will produce. So Mr. Hall does the decomposition reaction of calcium carbonate. What are, what is a properly written chemical equation? So in this, you got a metal carbonate. We'll break down to metal oxide. Where are we going to get the metal from? Calcium. Calcium. <coughs> metal oxide, so O plus CO2. Typical, typical situations, yes, but it's not always heat. So, 
So within this, if we gave you something like, uh, sure, why not? Let's do. Lithium carbonate. You give me the products. just like right than what we have been doing. Yeah, well the fun thing is that sometimes you gotta balance them, sometimes you don't. And then the good thing is, is whenever you have to trust your nomenclature skills. Because if you make one mistake in your nomenclature skills, you jack the whole problem. I hate All right. I'm going to slave the blue for my favorite one. I had a great time. I had a great time. All right, number three. Decomposition of metal hydroxides. I don't know why I was thinking about this, but don't you No, hydroxide doesn't show up in the product side at all. Don't you just hate when people get mad at you? Decomposition of the metal hydroxide. So decomp. That's strange. Are you okay? I was just Metal hydroxide. You got an argument with somebody and they like yelling. And then, like, you go to confront them Produce. about that argument you just had, and they're just completely fine. That's because I love them still. Your favorite thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, I just said that. Metal oxides. Oh, are you so funny? I know I am. I'll be here all week. <laughs> Plus hydrogen. Plus water. Oh. So within this, if we had strontium hydroxide. <coughs> Can we call it a, our experiment on Friday? Can we call it a composition of chemicals? No. I'm not going to need that. No, we're not. I know we're not. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I know what I'm talking about. You literally go back and there's like five SUV, like black SUVs around. <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> you can just see them being in black there. Oh, wow. You went back to your Man, please look at the light. You went back to your Let's try this one. Please come and do that. Right. Oh, that's noisy. No, I ain't going to 
All right. Strontium hydroxide with some heat. Mr. Hall, for whatever reason, decides to do a decomposition reaction of strontium hydroxide. Just be like, with this. Give a properly written chemical equation for this. So, we're going to have a metal oxide. You guys are picking up on it. The metal's going to come from here. So, strontium, which is a 2 plus. And oxygen is 2 negative. So, SRO plus water. Alyssa, yes. Whatever we're dealing with in metal hydroxide and decomposition reaction, one of the products will always be water. Well, would you look at that? It's all in balance. Aren't these always a little bit better Uh, sometimes. Okay. Always check. Start ready, though? Don't worry, I heard you the first time. Just so you know, I got a big dog that sleeps in my room. That is also like a fluffy teddy bear that will not hurt It's a black lab, German Shepherd. Mix. I'd love to bring him here, like, but it's like as soon as he gets around people, he doesn't know he's skittish. It'll be like that. What's his name? My, um, <laughs> what is his name? <laughs> like, <laughs> Roscoe. Roscoe. I had to I have a lot of Roscoe P. Coltrane. That's why my husband was having him brought him here before. It's kind of weird. My uncle has a brain. She has a brain sucker. You should bring him in. He's like, Miss Margaret brought a dog. No, no, no. He's very skittish. Like, literally, like, he doesn't know you. And you'll be like, oh, it's so cute. And you'll go up to pet him, he'll down his tail, he'll hunker down. Like, he will growl at you. He does not want to. He does not know you. And I don't know what you're talking about. Miss Hargis never brought a dog. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. No, she had a very nice specimen. She had a very nice specimen. Please don't word it like that. <laughs> it was like a, I thought she did. Now you're going to hear like science teachers talk, and you're going to be like, is that really what they're talking about? Or are they just like <laughs> saying something stupid? Are they making s'mores? Or what are they doing? No, we're not making s'mores. We're but I heard studying, we're we're examining the physical and chemical changes of scientific materials. <laughs> You have decomposition of metal chlorates. Now, this is one of my favorite labs, and it's absolutely one of my favorite demonstrations. Oh, he ain't Russian. I'm learning French. All right, so decomp. Uh, Mr. Paul, I'm gonna have to uh, file a like notice at this very instance. If we have a test on the Friday of my birthday, I quit. Or quiz. What's your birthday? April third. I mean, really, in all honesty, I'll take it as good luck. It's a quiz Friday. Besides, it's Friday before break, so I'm still doing it. Before break? What's that one? <laughs> so decomp of metal chlorate you can, see that. you can definitely see my hand. Like, uh, what's in my study or something? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, it is it will produce. He's like takes out Metal chloride. <laughs> Plus, which is what makes this my favorite, oxygen. Wow. That's not that 
favorite thing too. I like it. Sometimes though, I wish I could. <laughs> so within this, Mr. Hall decides to do this really cool demonstration with a gummy bear. He takes potassium chlorate. Which everybody here knows what potassium chlorate is. I know I'm just wasting your time putting KCLO3 up here. I, I literally just quoted that to you. That's kindergarten. Yeah, I like that in preschool. God, I like it. I wouldn't go that far. So potassium chlorate. Give me a properly written chemical equation for this. This is the gummy bear reaction. So if you are lucky enough to find yourself within a situation where you have a test tube and some what? potassium chlorate, you're going to ruin the test tube. But is hey, it okay? It's there ain't no better way to ruin a test tube than to fry up us some gummy bear. So what is it? This is what happens. It will decompose into a metal chloride, so KCl. And oxygen. Now you remember Mr. Hall telling you don't get in the habit of these things being balanced. Because it's not balanced. This is whack, bro. Whack. So you have potassium. Well, can you just put potassium chlorate? Hey, just so I can help you keep this in mind for balancing, why didn't I put chlorate here on the left and chlorate there on the right? There's not chlorate on the product side. It doesn't show up on both sides. Only time you keep the polyatomics together is when they show up on both sides. It's just potassium chloride. Alright, so in this case, it's got potassium and chloride are balanced, but in this case, the oxygens are not. We got that 3 to 2 situation. Remember what I said to do with that? Just flip the numbers over. Two comes here, changes potassium, chloride, and oxygen. And the three comes over here, which just changes the oxygen. So it gives me six oxygens. But then in this, I have two potassium and two chlorides over on the reactant side. Now I've got to balance over here on the product side. If I stick a two in front of this potassium chloride, it then will balance it. You forgot to put your six. That would have got kind of drawn on the quiz. Would not. Because this right here is what I look for. This is what matters. Do so we have to put that so on the middle? Yes. Hey, I get that now. Because what if you're putting the press on your stove when you turn it up? It's literally the middle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. All right, here we go. We now have, please hold your excitement. We now have the last decomposition reaction. Whoa, yeah, whoa. No, we ain't done. We got one more. After that one. No, we ain't done. There's so much chemistry to learn. I mean, with this person's speech, it's Yes, we are finished with the competition now. Number five. Coming in at number five. Decomposition of oxy acid. Decomposition of oxy acid. There are some of you in the room right now that are enjoying this process. Now, huh? Now, now, I'm not tripping on no acid. <laughs> really? Because I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I want my husband. I'll try it. Acid if you drink it or melt your face. Uh, casually, casually. Considering the fact there's people in the room right now that has been drinking it during this class night. I want like I have a sub Scooby Doo. We're going to have acid. It's no, no. Decomp of oxy acids will what? produce. What? No. No, I'm not a smoker. Have you ever smelled cigarette smoke on me? Well, I don't get close enough to smell it. <laughs> you probably smell it. 
Produce non metal oxides. <laughs> And? Whoa. Very and? It's impartial. Looks like you have Non metal oxide. And water. Oh. Uh, all right, so in this, I'm going to use the one that all of you in this room are enjoying. Well, some of you, not all of you. Mr. Hall is interested in the decomposition reaction taking place within soft drinks. That is carbonic acid. Which everybody in this room knows what carbonic acid is. And fructose. Oh. Fructose. Yeah. Yeah. Miss Mel, this one? just naturally take place. You don't need to be Not in this case. This soft drink just naturally does it. Breaks down into a non metal oxide, which is the carbon dioxide being released with the soft drink, CO2, and water. Bye, Mr. Hall. I'm very good at it. You too. Bye bye. Well, would you look at that? It's already done. There we go. We'll hit this up, uh, one more example of it tomorrow. And then, watch and then we will go on with the single replacement. It's going to be the interesting one. Let's go. Yeah, let's go.